All right, in this video, we are going to look at linear tile patterns and take a linear tile pattern and write a rule that represents it. For a reminder, the general rule for any linear pattern is going to be y equals mx plus b, where each of those variables and constraints stands for a different thing. So for instance, in y equals mx plus b, y tells you the number of tiles in a figure, m is going to tell you how much the pattern is growing by from figure to figure, x represents the figure number, and then finally b represents how many tiles we begin with or how many tiles are in figure zero. So if we keep these things in mind, it's going to be really easy to write the rule for any tile pattern. Looking at our first tile pattern here, we know that figure zero has two tiles. But figure one looks like this shape with five tiles and figure two and so forth. And so the first thing I like to do is I like to identify how is it growing and where is it growing? So from figure zero to figure one, these three right here look like the new tiles. From figure one to figure two, I have this row of new tiles, or this column of new tiles rather. From figure two to figure three, I have this one. And from figure three to figure four, I have this right here. So it is growing by a constant three tiles each time, which tells me this is a linear pattern. If you remember back to y equals mx plus b, the things we need to be able to identify to write the rule for any pattern is going to be the growth and how many tiles are in figure zero. Looking at this example, we know that figure zero has two tiles. So that tells me that b is going to be equal to two. And then we noticed that each time we were getting three new tiles that we shaded in. So that means our growth or our M is going to be three. If we use the rule Y equals MX plus B, we're gonna substitute the two in for the B and the three in for the M. And our equation or our rule becomes Y equals three X plus two. Something you always want to do is check to make sure you're correct. So for instance, we know that figure two here has these three, these three, and these two, so a total of six, seven, eight tiles. So that means that if I put a two in for X for figure two, I should get a, an eight out for Y because that's the number of tiles in it. So if we take three and multiply it by two, we get six and six plus the two gives us the eight. Uh, we can test that for figure four as well. So taking a look, figure four has these three, another three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14. So if I put four in for X, I should get 14 out for Y. Three times four is 12, plus two is 14. Sure enough, this rule works. Therefore, the rule for this tile pattern is Y equals three X plus two. All right, the next tile pattern that we're gonna be looking at shows us that figure one has these five tiles and then figure two has these nine tiles and so forth. And so remember, we wanna always look for two things. We wanna know first off, how much is it growing by M and then how many tiles are in figure zero B. So when I start to look from tile pattern or pattern or figure to figure, I notice that this one here and figure two is new, and this one, and this one, and this one. So this one from figure one to figure two grew by those four, and from figure two to figure three, it grew very similarly where I had that one, that one, that one, and that one. So now to work backwards, I would have to say, okay, if figure zero comes before figure one, it would have had to grow in the same way which would make these four new ones 
which would leave our figure zero with just the one single tile in the middle. So I know that this right here would be the figure zero. So I know that figure zero has one tile and I know that it was growing by those four tiles every time. So that means that my growth is four. So once again, y equals mx plus b is the equation or the rule for a linear pattern. I'm going to substitute the four in for the m for the growth and the one in for the b for the number of tiles in figure zero. My equation becomes y equals 4x plus 1. And just like last time, we're going to go ahead and check it. We can pick any one we want. We'll go ahead and take figure 2. Figure 2 has 9 tiles in it. So when I go ahead and put in a 2, I should get out a 9. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. Therefore, this rule checks out.